G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. As a young and do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. Whoa. What's happening, y'all? This is CJ Mack coming to you live on G Connect with different generations. Have real conversations. Yo, yo, what's going on? This is your boy Raz Cash. You now tuned in to G Connect, where different generations have real conversations. Speak on it. Yo, this your OG partner, Cocaine, and you're tapped in to G Connect. You're now tuned in with G Connect. Check this out G L A double dot sign each side. That's right, Glasses Malone. And you already know you're tapping in. G Connect, nigga. All right, Easter Deals, your favorite East Side, nigga, East Side K Boy. On G Connect with different generations have real conversations. You did. I'm from the land, homeboy. I'm I, I ain't ducking no Rick. I'm taking all fades. I'm from East Side, East Coast, 190th Street, Crip, original. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, nigga, whatever we got to talk about, we're going to sit that shit on your table like a teacup. And we're going to get through that shit so people can understand. That's the only way for people to understand. Not for people to tap that. Oh, I want you to ask that. Oh, man, I don't want to. Oh, man, that's the fuck all that. We're going to get into it. Whatever you feel. You feel me? Whatever you feel you want to address or things that people need to hear or something that you might want to know that people or think that people want to know from me or whatever. Whether it's in general or whether it's from me, about me, whatever. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Run that shit. Okay. Right. Copy that. You know where we come from, gangster? Ain't no, ain't no ducking. We don't duck nothing. Even if we roll, roll the right, we can't duck it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a grown man. What you said? I'm through this shit. What I is, what is what going to be? Said. Said hey, what is going to be? I'm right here with you. How did you meet Mitch? Big Mitch. All right, so before I could even get to that, I got to drop the respect. Right. Because we can't talk about Mitch yet if we going to talk about me. Before okay, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get back to you. I, I, I'm going to scratch that. Hold on, right. yeah, because I, I, before we get to meet you, We'll get to we that. Got to I, I got plenty more. Like, I got plenty more for you. I got plenty this, more. We got to bring up niggas like Wino from 190. <laughs> okay. oh, Wino from 190? You know who that is? Yeah. Wino. Wino was Coolio's producer with the big afro from County Line. This ain't funny, so don't you dare laugh because it ain't about niggas coming out the back of the trunk. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, what's fantastic boy? They coming out the back of the trunk, slide, slide, slippity slide. The nigga standing right there with the big ass afro from one I know. He yeah. the nigga that made the beat from my hood. That's Wino. So I was working with Wino in the neighborhood at the time doing music, right, rapping. So, you know, we were trying to get a deal. Long story short, shit didn't pan out. At the time, I had a girlfriend who worked with the accountant for DJ Pool. We know who DJ Pooh is, Created Friday, yeah. Ice Cube producer, legendary yeah. homie from Watergate. Mm -hmm. Now, boom. I got puppies over here, just came two weeks ago. They over here talking, yelling at me because I'm getting loud. All right, so look. So now, why no? Boom, I'm doing the music. I'm fucking with Razzcats, is my cousin. He didn't took me to Germany. I'm 16, 17, Germany. We didn't went to Japan. We all over the world. He signed the Priority Records. I'm his roadie. So that's my first inkling of the music industry. Let's install that there. Right. Out of gang bang, I'm gang banging. I'm with Raz Cass. I'm with Raz Cass with the strap, busting at niggas, doing the whole shit while he's hip hop. He don't gang bang none of that. He live in the past, but he don't bang every both sides respect Raz because he's a rapper and he got dope ass rhymes. Everybody fuck with him right. in LA. The shout Bloods, out. the Crips alike. Shout out to Raz. That's my cousin. Yeah. Right here. Shout out to Raz. That's cousin. So I'm with him all the time, but I'm still on my khakis. <clears throat> T-shirt. Hey, hold on. I see everybody in the street. Like, oh, I got all the street shit locked. He got the industry shit locked. Boom, me and Raz moving. Then I latched on. Bro, kind of off of Raz, kind of feel like I was ready to do my shit now. He turned me into a real rapper. People even knew me around the world as a rapper, and I wasn't no rapper yet. So I felt like I needed to go get my shit. I started fucking with the homie in the hood, Spade. We start rapping. We had a group. We made it called a lower class. Wino from the hood, big producer, did Coolio. Naturally, he started fucking with us. We doing the shit, it didn't pan out. But during that time, my girl worked for DJ Pooh's account. I linked with DJ Pooh. Mm -hmm. I become a DJ Pooh's, I would like to uh, uh, 
call myself his uh student or pupil. You know, he's like my mentor. mentor. Yeah. So I was just studying. This fucking DJ Pooh, this nigga got Snoop Dogg in here every day, smoking an ounce with me. You know what I'm saying? They working. All kind of celebrities is there. Dr. Dre might slide through. I'm in that studio every fucking day with DJ Pooh at this point, just trying to make it. Now I'm detaching already. I'm 8, 17, 18, detaching from gang banging. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't banged and died for this shit. They laid on my deathbed. They resuscitated twice. You feel me? I didn't did my shit. Right. And I feel like, hold on, there's something else out here for me. I'm still with this. I'll fuck you up. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I'm I see something over here. Let me go figure it out. It's out here. Let me go get this shit. The homies and shit, people around me, they can't see it. They can't see past the turf. They can't see past the next <laughs> robber nigga. They can't see past the next <laughs> quarter piece. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So so that took me to sitting with DJ Pooh. Niggas not knowing where I'm at. I'm up under him. And nigga end up putting me in my first movie. And on the soundtrack at the same time, he asked me, Blue, you want to get in this movie I'm writing? So that nigga, cut hell, nah, nigga, because niggas ain't going to respect me. Nigga, as a real nigga, nigga, I got to be a rapper first. Uh-huh. Right. For the kids. <laughs> nigga, I ain't know no better. Nah, nigga. that's back then when you felt like, nigga, if you in the movies, you ain't no real nigga. But if you a rapper, you real. Right. Now we get to see if the rapper is fake as a motherfucker. Nigga, ain't no real nigga left <laughs> unless you're in the house with your grandkids, nigga. Right. If you're in the house, nigga, patting your grandkids on the ass and taking care of your kids and holding your household down, then... You gangster in my eyes at, right. at, this, at our age. Yeah, this you feel right. me? Right now, we got to That's what my kids and my son them to talk about. You feel me? What we doing is what's gangster to me now ain't what was gangster to me twenty five years ago. Right. That's what niggas got a latch tone to when you put the segregation in between the elder nigga and the younger nigga. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We don't have the same. We don't have the same thing. We ain't. We ain't like. You feel me? Right. We like this. Hold on, man. Y'all doing that shit, man. Nigga, let me tell you about this. Oh, this old ass nigga said. Right. <laughs> that's where that come from. From Ooh. us just identifying, associate, associating ourselves, remembering the time, and Ooh. trying to say it. And then next thing you know, they're telling us, man, nobody even say it no more. Say nobody even say for sure no more. Man, what you talking about? Oh, nigga, don't even talk like that no more. We definitely ain't gonna listen to you, nigga. We don't even talk like that. That's how right. y'all old niggas talk. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. Hold on. Now, so why no bring me in? Boom, DJ Pooh laced me, put me on in on in a feature film. Three Strikes was Par- Paramount, I think, or Lionsgate, and we were shooting on a Paramount lot or some shit, nigga. It was the big shit, nigga. It was a movie. Nigga, I was 17, 18 years old from the hood, nigga. Mm. I was from the hood, nigga. I was on the back lot, nigga, with the trailer, nigga, bringing the homies up there like, nigga, look at this shit, cuz I get free food all day, nigga. <laughs> and that we in my trailer smoking weed and shit. We can smoke this in here, cuz. Nigga, what? Why can't we, nigga? We can do whatever the fuck we want in here, nigga. Right. Man. And that's how my journey start with this whole shit. Mm-hmm. I become the nigga. From out of, around all my homeboys that I fuck with, gang banging or not, I was the one that ended up going that way. And out of my group of friends that went into the industry that way, you feel okay. me? And then this episode of G Connect is brought to you by my folks over at Trust Me Vodka Ultra Premium Vodka. Trust me, it go, homie. I'll let you boy. So check out the sponsor, Trust Me Vodka at TrustMeVodka.com and Trust Me Vodka on Instagram. G Connect with different generations have real conversations. Trust me. Trust me. It ain't nothing but a G thing. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but a G thing. Different conversations with different generations. Gotta keep it G, man. It ain't nothing but a G thing. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing but a G thing. Different conversations with different generations. You gotta keep it G, man.